Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Star Sector Season 8. Last time we uh, pumped several agents into the Diablo Psy Alliance essentially to make us, at least they're friendly with us at the moment, correct? Yeah, they're friendly with us at the moment. Um, actually, we are, the <laughs> they're more friendly to, uh, to us than they are to each other, which I think is slightly amusing. Because I do want to get into that alliance. I want to get into an alliance. I also want to see if I can save... Um, the Black Rock. The Black Rock are down to this planet, and the Mayorit are currently at war with them. Have three bases. Okay, so... Right, okay. Might wipe out the Mayorit as best I can, then. But, I want to see if I can save them. I'm not sure it's going to be possible. I really don't know if it's going to be possible. Standing down, standing down, standing down. If they come in there, I'm going to join in. They come in there and Crick 1 captured by Fleeden. Anti Fleeden has zero planet. That's oddly thematic. Fleeden is actually huge at the moment. Fleeden has four planets and stations? Fleeden has four. Fleeden has four. Fleeden has four. That's kind of crazy. You got to three. You got one. Diabol's got two. Uh, Hegemony's got two. Interstellar's got three. Three junk pirates of two. Lytic Church is three. Mayrit is three. Pack has two. PBC has two. Pirates have one. P9 of two. Psy has two. Shadow Yards have two. Syndicate that has two. Tiandong has two. Everyone's got two. Everyone's got two apart from Fleet has got four. It's kind of crazy. Um, can you join the fun? Beginning of the invasion of Kamanis. Aha. Uh -huh. That is going to be tricky. I'm looking at that and thinking, can I take them on? And the honest answer to that question is, no, I can't. Not at all. I do want to see if we can t help these guys, though. Because that said... I just looked at you, and you're Mercantile Fleet. You're mostly Setonias. Well, we'll see what happens now. I'm genuinely interested to see what happens. I wanted to save them, but I'm not sure that they may be too late at this point. No, they're, they're leaving, they're leaving, they're leaving. The strike fleets are around, but they're leaving. Uh, no, leave. I'm not, I'm not trying to engage you, I just clicked on you by accident. Um, standing down, standing down, standing down. Okay, so that's... Let's quickly do some aggressive um, deploy an agent to raise relations. Boom, 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 boom. Caught again. Caught again. Well, we're ba we're slightly favorable. We were a little bit more than we were last time. Interesting. Um. I want to join the alliance. Do I have to wait for them to to, to do I have to wait for them to like summon me or something? Uh, yeah. Can I buy some agents off you guys? Buy some agents. Hi, agents. Um, three. Four. That should that should be that should be enough to give us something, right? That should be enough to boost us to friendly, yeah. So we're friendly with Blackrock. Okay, are they back yet? Hang on. D. Okay, they're not. Um, okay, so Blackrock's there. Good. So hang on. If I wanted to go against the, the Mayorit, which I think is was what I want to do. Um. The Mayorit would be a small merit base is in Lugas. Lugas is a, is, a, is, a, is a tier 5 base. Junk Pirates have a tier 5 base here. I want to see if I can get this one as well. I want to see if I can get Karashil so I can have at least a, like a foothold in this, in this um, system. 
The Titan Dominion joins war against the PBC. Carousel Pirates. Okay, so how big are you, by the way? If I was, if I were to, it's a very odd art style of face. Um, if I were to try to invade, defender strength three hundred and seven. That's not happening anytime soon. Um, goodbye. Okay, that's not happening anytime soon. Faction directory, you know, um, merit. So Lugast is a size five base, right? And Lugast, if I remember correctly, is over there. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to swing. Uh, there's speed twelve. I'm speed nine. I think I'm okay. Um, yeah. Goodbye. Looking for my fleet. I'm out. I'm outy. Bye. Boop. Uh, PVC strike fleet. Okay, I'm going to accelerate to get. Um, I need a cruiser. I need a cruiser that is beyond doubt at this point. You were fleeing from whatever that was, I think. Search pattern, cyan bridge. Boop. Just cyan. I need myself a cruiser. Give me some kind of cruiser, please. Give me a cyan cruiser. More cash. More cash and go take out the. Uh, start taking out the Mayrits. Hello. The P9 Colony Group is going to be on my side as well, I see. Um, right then. Buy. A Dinjan Crudel. Four medium missiles. Interesting. The burn speed of seven. Hmm. Hmm. I am tempted by this, I must say. Because four medium missiles, you can do quite a lot of damage with four medium missiles. Um. But one medium bullet. Ah, oh, I want to get a nice cruiser. I can't think of. Like, okay, what I want is I want a Nevermore, right? That's the that to me that's still like the best cruiser ever. I have a love affair with a Nevermore ever since season two. So I'm always partial to others Nevermore. Um, I'm always partial towards a Nevermore. Do I want to get a Dingjin? Do I want to get a Dingjin? As a support ship, obviously. Yes. Boom. Got it. Bought. Done. Uh, refit. You. Uh, make sure I've got the crew first of all, which I haven't. It's by good, quick, couple hundred crew. Done. Plenty of crew, plenty of crew, sorted. And supplies, plenty of fuel, plenty of good. That's really expensive for drugs. And right, okay, so name. 
The KNS Buttes. No, you're not going to KNS Buttes. You're not going to be called the KNF. The KNS Doppel Soldner. I know there's meant to be an umlaut there, but I don't think I can get it to work. I haven't got an umlaut on my keyboard. Um, right, weapons wise. A couple of Inferno Mervs. Ah, Apsis. There you go, some Apsis. I'll take some Apsis LRT launchers. Uh, there's someone here as well, right? I'm actually good. There you go. Four Apsis LRT launchers, long range torpedoes. I've been told to get these, so I've, I've actually decided to acquiesce to said request. Um, yeah, uh, uh, before I do that. Um, Light and Shredder MG. Shredder MG. Sunjet PDE. Some kind of Hellfire chain gun would be nice, actually. But there's no Hellfire chain gun that's not. Hmm. Right. Okay. Um. Heavy MG is probably the next best up. Next best thing. 450, 400 DPS, 320 DPS, 1000. Yeah, sure, why not? Do that. There we go, done. Um, what do we want? We want extender shields. We want to... Reinforce bulkheads might be interesting. Uh, heavy armor? Have we got heavy armor? Um, but the integrated point defense AI can give you stuff like I can give you like volley guns. And you can use that to shoot down missiles, um, and that as well. Okay, there and put some points into that. And then put some points in there. Gives us twelve points to play around with. With twelve points. I can give you a front. I could lock you with the front shield emitter, and it gives you that gives you a three hundred degree arc, which is tempting. Um, there's no point for for uh, expanded missile racks because those things reload. Um, mineral preparation resistance plunk and accelerated shields. Hmm. Give you some, give you some 15 and give another point. There you go. There you go. Done. Auto that. You all fire three shots a minute, but you do reload. So one shot every 20 seconds, and you're going to be far away. Um, fleet. Let's put you there. Let's try moving those guys up to the front. You can actually, you can't, yeah, you cannot assign it. Someone said to assign an officer to the fighter wing, but you can't assign officers to fighter wings. I do want to get a pilot, however. Um, there's no pilots here. In missions they want to get. I have never seen an intelligence data, an intelligence data chip. Where do we find intelligence data chips? I have never seen one to purchase. He says, that I was expecting to go here and immediately see one to buy, uh, but no. To be fair, this is the first time I've seen like Volturni and lobsters to buy in a long time. They are quite rare. Right, okay, we got that stuff sorted out. Good. We have at least one um, cruiser ready. Right, boom. Repair up for 48. Special functions. No. Um, got 27 marines. Can I buy up to 100 marines? So it's 27B73. Done. Okay, got 100 marines now as well. Sell. Alright, let's go to Sophitia. And. Stock up on loads of heavy heavy machinery, or other things of that nature. So 
slow, 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 but we are close to getting a level up on this, so... Oh, you've developed, you've developed a lot. I want to see how how much... Um, uh, boom. Uh, thousand, thousand, thousand of you guys, and... Can I actually sell to you? I mean, is that a possibility? Is that something we can do? Is, have you recovered at all? Have you recovered? Stability 5, you have recovered to, certain, to a certain degree. Thousand studying for 147. That should be, that should be 140,000, so... Not the best of places. That's definitely not good. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It's still doing stupidly cheap supplies and hand weapons. But what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, uh, another question. Are these actually, Do these actually do anything? Are they just there for fluff reasons? We'll go back and sell some more of this stuff to the Freedom uh, Prism Freeport. And is there a way to buy advanced military ships from a nation without actually picking up a commission? Slash, is there a problem with picking up a commission now? Black, oh, Black Rocket P9. Oh well, Black Rocket P9. Really? That's a 3 away war then. That means Black Rock, P9, and Merit are a 3 away war. Uh... Prison Freeport. It's an interesting way to go about things, I suppose. I do want to see how how the, our uh, doppel soldier will help us in combat. It's kind of ironic that the uh, cruisers called the doppel soldier because doppel soldiers are meant to be in the in the thick of it. Like historically speaking, a double soldier would be in the middle of the combat, not hanging back at the, looking, not hanging at the back, firing away torpedoes. Assign trade fleet, Imperium classes, elite. Merit strike fleet. Wave of anti nautilus. Oh, fair enough. Oh, there you go. Merit and Blackrock declare ceasefire. That's not bad, I suppose. Um. There you go, much, much nicer. Yeah, there you go, 128,000, boom. Sorted. Um, now, can we get another one? Oh, first things first. Can we get ourselves a nice mercenary officer? What can you do? Aggressive. I do not want an aggressive officer on the thing. Okay, hang on one second. Uh, where are you? There you are. Yeah, you can definitely be uh, relocated to you. Level you up. Um, ordnance expertise. Damage control. Um, you get combat aptitude. You get ordnance expertise, I suppose. You get. Missile spec or damage control? Missile spec technically would be useful, but you haven't actually got any missiles, so damage control it is. Yep. Yep. Good. Now, repair up. Nice. Ships. Buy. There's an Aurora there. Okay, what's a, what's a Quan Z? Quan Z is based on the Sunder. Has a trip hammer. Is it replaced an integrated trip hammer, a powerful assault weapon. I wonder what what a trip hammer is. Um, okay. High end sellers. What have you got for me? A Shorin cruiser, born of an eagle, stripped down to spare components. The Shorin features heavier armor and heavier, mobility modified weapons layout. One large ballistic, one medium ballistic, two medium missile, two medium energy. Interesting. That is actually kind of 
tempting. There's also a Dictator Heavy Cruiser, which is, you know, just amazing. A relatively expensive logistical profile, terrible maneuverability, and a below average effective strike range. Also, the price to match. Um, I'm tempted to go with the Shorin. I'm going to go with the Shorin. Boom. Uh, hang on. Well, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. 8, 40, 35, 35. Might tanker. Uh, distraction frigate. Now, this version of the Psyche has greatly enhanced defensive capabilities at the cost of firepower and weapon flexibility. As with the Psyche, crews undergo screening for cell changes twice per day. Okay. Um, speed 220. My word, that's fast. The Wu Jun. Mm hmm. I am horribly tempted by this. Very much so. That's what one sixty. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, you only live once, why don't you? Uh, okay, Star Wolf. Yeah, this is going to be called the Star Wolf. So down, 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 down. Scroll. It's the KNS Star Wolf. Yep, Star Wolf's two words. Okay. Um, crew wise, I need another hundred or so crew. Okay, now refit this thing. Good and proper. Large ballistic turret. A grav driver. No description yet. Okay. A large ferro cannon. Heavy shot cannon, large version of shot cannon. Triple grenade transmitter. Uh, double heavy cannon. Double heavy conon. A double heavy conon. Um, gale battery. I was I was I was I was quite interested in the gale battery way back when. Hellbore cannon. We could put the Galatine at the front. I am very tempted to just grab the Galatine stick at the front. Galatine Heavy Disruptor. Oh, this is so tempting. Done. We have a Galatine Heavy Disruptor at the front. I'm not sure why I did this, but we've got a Galatine Heavy Disruptor at the front. Uh, a couple of medium missiles. Oh! Done! So, oh my god, they reload! <laughs> the Clarence reload! <laughs> what? What? That's insane! Uh, small ballistics, sure. Um, quick, like, independent Vulcans or something. Um, yeah, sure, grab a couple of Vulcans. Why not? Oh, my trousers! <laughs> wow. Oh, God, this is insane. This ship is now the most powerful thing in the world. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay, what's the stasis beam? Speed and turn, okay. Um, Scalar on repeaters. Satenia assault cannons, why not? Because, you know, I haven't got the cash for this, why not? Um, God, to say I'm not tempted by it is a lie. To say I'm not tempted by this is a huge, 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 huge lie. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to. I just want to check how it works. Hang on, uh, cancel out of this. I just want to see how how would it function. Uh, okay, end of that. Just want to see how would this work. Because this is insanity. This is absolute insanity. You have, for example, this is you have the Centennials, which are like. And then you have these guys, of course. Oh my god. I'm not going to put those there, but just the temptation is huge. 
Give me, give me something to fight against. Give me... What can I fight against? What would be an interesting match? Give me Kestrel to fight against. Well, actually, this is a very bad idea. Uh, mainly because I haven't actually put any points here. Um, just as a test. This is not real. This is not happening. I just want to see what would happen in real life. Against where's the Kestrel? Is the Kestrel? That's the Shorin. What's okay? What's a Shorin standard loadout? Mark Nine Auto Cannon, Heavy Mauler, Concussion Missile. But really? Okay, that's a pretty. That's a bit of a bit of a waste, but fair enough. Um, where was it? Uh, where was the Kestrel? There it is. Deploy. Emergency engine power as well, which gives me a full speed of. Oh, and we'll find out eventually. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Unintentional, I swear. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I understand. I, I understand that's being not going to be very useful. That is t way too much. Way too much. Um. First, probably so is that. I'll keep those, but probably the guard sign heavy disruptor is a bit much. I'll keep those, but okay. What's, what are you when you're at home? Uh, you are a a very high-powered P9 burst laser fitted with internal frequency modulations, major excellence against shields. A kinetic, okay, a kinetic, a kinetic type, okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, and the and the big large one in the middle is gonna be a gale battery because I was tempted by it. I was I was interested to see what the gale battery was gonna be like. Um, we need to of course save space for the oh, God's sake. It's because of these things. These things take up way too much um, stuff. Uh, okay. I just want to check what this is like. Um, give me something. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There you are. Okay, so the gale battery is like. Okay, and you have. Okay. And the missiles come, and they wreck me. Okay, that's that. I see how that works. Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I see how that works. Um, let's just let's try that. Probably with proper better stats. Uh, we try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Okay, how fast do I actually get if I get emergency energy power? 142. Gotta say, that, that gorse thing is really quite nasty, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you, ladies and gentlemen. If I if I actually re if I revert everything, I am going to keep the the Clarence here because that's required. I'm not changing that for the world. But have a look, see what's available. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically scroll down. You can pause and see what's available. Meh. And that that should be all the, that's all the medium that's all the mediums all the medium ballistics so you can scroll and pause and see what they are these are the large choices which are large humor hellbore Aegis flak mark nine triple shock gale batteries the gauss cannon itself you can have a look there 
Uh, large energies, phase lances, glaucs, lance repeaters, focused pulse beams. Have a look there. Uh, bl small ballistic. Small ballistic is simple enough, I think. Small, small ballistic choices there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys would want on the Star Wolf because I'm definitely not dropping these Claren MRMs for anything. They are astoundingly good. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. See you then. Bye.